Hello guys, how's it going? Um, I've been thinking I'm recording way too many uh, Minecraft episodes, so I'm gonna start recording more Walking Dead. So let's get Back going. Back off! It's a bit too loud. Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We don't want any trouble. Are you armed? Yeah, F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. I don't trust them. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Oh, sh well, we do need freaking food, so... Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Ooh, thank so, you, Carly. Uh, what are y'all thinking? Uh, okay, we'll go to the dairy. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. They we better. lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. All right. I got it. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. <laughs> Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Oh, Kenny keeps a, uh, me as a leader. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Oh. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Yeah. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was... Now it's not that you know what happened. It, it was an accident. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. <laughs> I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. Okay. I uh, really appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Um... Grew up in Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in uh, Who's running things over there? I am. I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. What? How many people you got over there anyway? Nine. Change this up. Nine including the kids? Nine including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all <laughs> to the dairy. Like ben. I said, we so I guess he's part of the group and, now. Quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? What the? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry. You guys <laughs> there's only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, a you know lot what? more. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Calm Anything down. Don't, don't say bad words. Look, let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Stop! He's dead! Asshole. You're not even aiming right. Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Jesus. These people are crazy. I don't want to mess with them. 
Oh, I just got the chills. Fuck. No, I need to check how long it's been. Sorry, sorry. Just want to check. Oh, I just moved it. I screwed everything up. Five minutes. Oh, God. I hope I'm putting this right, guys. If not, I'm sorry. Here it is. St. John Family Day. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Uh, yeah, I Friends see. Keep some out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and ants. Damn. I'm going to assume that's a lot. <laughs> oh, ever have any accidents? We can't have the kids around. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. <laughs> it's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more How friends she mean staying by at that? the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Me. I've got things under control. I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thank you. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Oh. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. <laughs> Maybe our whole group here, here. Here for the day. Prayers well, have been answered. How about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. All It'd right. be nice to have some folks to help out around here. Does again. she seem? Does Daddy, she seem a little bit chesty? <laughs> I'm not trying to why be perverted or anything, but you know, for the trip just over saying. Here. Might want to take someone with you. Remember. Those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Ooh, okay. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. All right. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. All right. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? All right, let's make sure the place is safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. All right, but is yeah. it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking yeah, the fence perimeter? Thing. Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. <laughs> All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Who's Andy? Oh, I guess one of the brothers, huh? Uh, so I guess nothing over here. On Lee, do 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 do. Um, guys, one of my videos got uh. Oh, right, let's see the fence. One of my videos got. Point. One of my videos got uh. I I got a message from YouTube saying it was already like copyrighted or something. Like, I don't know by M3. Who the hell's M3? So yeah. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? No one fucks with us. Help, 
How many weapons do you have? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? Yeah. We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but right, so we really only use them when we go off the property. A few when we're guns. inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. The fence stops the walkers? Uh, are we the first? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. Alright, the fence stopped the walkers. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? Yeah. That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got <laughs> too close. Closest thing to entertainment these <laughs> days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us? I guess, yeah. Alright, let's go fix the perimeter. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd so, be great. So, I'll turn off the, the guy with the glasses' name is Mark. And, uh, we you guys know that. Strip them off and look for any weak points. Well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. All right. I can do that. Are we gonna stop here? Yes, we're stopping here. Thank you guys for watching. It's been 11 minutes. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you liked the video. Subscribe, like. Uh, leave a comment and I will promise I'll do more of these series because apparently people do like this so I'll be doing a lot of Walking Dead from now on and you know Minecraft I'll still do it but I'm gonna focus mainly on Minecraft and uh, Walking Dead but a little bit more on Walking Dead because I, I have 13 on the Minecraft and like 10 or 11 with the Walking Dead I think this is 11 so I'll just focus more on that uh, thank you guys for watching again and subscribe, you know, everything you can just helps. Alright, bye guys.